All right, hello everybody and welcome. We are back with some more uh, Rainbow Six Extraction here. Picking up day two. Uh, pretty much picking up where we left off. Let me see, uh, it looks like we, okay, the first time getting this. We'll offer you the United Front Cosmetic Bundle. Okay. I already got that, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, re I uh, redeemed it earlier. I guess not everybody has uh, been looking at that. So today it's mainly just gonna be me unless if like soldier pad hops on or, or any of my other friends. Um, but we might be do some like quick matches with other people, randoms and stuff, just to see how, how that goes in this game. Um, before we even attempt that, what is the push to talk button? I might do a few solo games by myself first, too. Before I even do anything at all. Uh, did this revert back? Oh, that's for controller. Okay, good. Everything's still on toggle. Uh, general, maybe? Crossplay. What's the difference between team and squad? Players who, oh, okay. Via matchmaking are muted by default. Team plus squad, all players are muted by default. Got it. Got it, got it. Well then, where's the button? Controls? Customize keybinds. Push to talk you, what the heck? Uh, change it to mouse button three. Well, make a secondary one. You is such a weird placement, it's all the way over there. Okay, how are my operators doing? The backbone, here comes the cavalry. Yep, we already got those last time. Okay, so they don't regenerate out of game. Um, your characters continue to, to stay whatever health they were. Because um, Doc for me was not doing great, but I was curious if like you left the game and then came back like another day or something if they'd be all regenerated but nope it is game time <laughs> last time i finished the uh vr training so that was good uh pretty easy to do that um i might honestly like start working on some of these like studies just like knock these out right ping an unalerted guard or a grunt uh kill grunts with the weak points and kill or assist killing or it kills or assists kill or assist killing grunts it's easy enough it's all like grunt work um let's go in let's try doing a match by ourselves. that way we can we can keep it stealthy kind of remember the controls and everything it's pretty basic from what i remember but just take it slow uh, all right, so we got activate stations, capture the elite target, capture a series of areas. Okay. Um, the one of the things that I realized my last playthrough or my last day of playing, uh, how useful the smoke grenades can actually be, especially if you get spotted, um, they can make a big difference for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna use lion yet. Who would I want to use here? Yo, what's going on, Sules? Zulus? How's it going? Stuns are the best. The stuns are really good, too, I would say. But I haven't really used much of them, too. I guess technically a stun would be... Um, trying to think who I want to actually go. I haven't gone to any of these yet.
I am not afraid I'm gonna try going vigil because I've technically I'm by myself right now um let's go to that I'm surprised you can't equip like when you're right here in the loadout screen you can't put any skins on it you have to go all the way out and do it ammo surge okay we'll go like this Usually I play with Finca and Doc. Yeah, last time I played as uh as Doc. And that was uh pretty good. He's probably gonna going Let's to be one of my main people as well. Alright. So locate the seismic station A. Let's get used to the controls real quick. What was our objectives? Uh, ping a grunt. Converge on location. Eliminate my target. And what else? Uh, kill grunts and with their weak points. Play it on Xbox? Nice. Are you playing it on... Uh, there it is. But you have to start with the first station. Your objective can't be far. One of the newer Fire Xboxes or the one. original? Like Xbox One. Also, how is that going for you? Does it work well? Nice. I would assume it probably handles it pretty good because siege never was like a crazy hard game to run when i was on xbox one right now i'm on uh pc play with friends nice For a second, I was thinking that was the objective. I, for, I keep forgetting that it always tells you where to go to the next area. Honestly, if I get the studies done, I might just focus those instead. And then... Then once all studies are done, maybe go to the next area. Okay. We need to find the other seismic ones. Oh, great. Uh, kill grunts. Okay, so we need to kill 15 grunts like that too. Health boost, nice. second floor it sounds like it's right here I guess it's up there
That's the right idea, but start with the first station. Okay, so that's two. Hit the weak points so bad. All right, so we got A. What's that one over there? I guess we'll find out. You did it. Head to the next station. Here's B. Good. Make your way to the next station. And then the final one. Oh. Can't go up this way. Back around. I like killed all the nests so there's no enemies popping up now. There it is. Stand by for stabilization procedure. Easy what enough. What did here allows our scientists to stop the seismic waves remotely. Less nausea for everyone too. Okay. One more grunt in the, or one more kill them in the head, uh, and then we can go to the next studies. Or do whatever the next studies are. Stick the basic one is just really kill. Keep moving forward. Hmm? If you go MIA, stasis foam coats your body in a hard, impenetrable shell, giving React the time to rescue you. MIA stasis foam coats your body in a hard impenetrable shell giving react time to rescue you oh that's cool I didn't know that we think the character do this is to the power system here but it's not drawing any power nothing left to pursue here so you can move to the if you play it in three stacking you can do this quest in five seconds yeah yeah, I'm gonna do some like quick play or something a little bit Odyssey here. Needs a living, breathing arcane of I just wanted to go in and kind of remember uh, how to play the game and stuff. We think some guests were trapped in here before the evacuation, but we didn't find remains. Also, I'm trying to get a little bit more stealthy too, depending on how. We need it alive. Oh, God. Ah, uh, crap. Crap. I need to close this program out. Because otherwise, my mouse is going to go over to the other screen. Okay, we're good now. We need to, oh, we need to lure it to the extraction point. Elite Smasher. Follow me! There it is. 
How's our studies doing? That trap is really good. That's all studies. You're good too. Um, capture a series of areas. I could do that one, or I can. Yeah, I'm just gonna extract because I got all the studies done. Mission is a success. Now let's get you home. Nice work. Not bad. Vigil, he's gonna be great for like when you do solo missions and stuff. And he wasn't injured or anything, so that's good too. All right, first cutscene of the day. Hey there, I'm way up north in icy Alaska, but the cold don't seem to bother the parasite none. It just popped up near Nome. The analysts have all sorts of crazy theories why. Honestly, I'm way out of my depth here. And I think the lab coats are too. Don't exactly pump up my confidence. Ah, damn. I don't need confidence. I don't need heat. The parasite don't mind the cold. And I don't neither. Okay. Eh, I mean, the guns seem fine for what I've seen so far. Especially if you're if you're stealth and you're going like headshots, you're hitting them them in the good point. Then I feel like they'll be all right. I am going to unlock the stun grenades. Okay, so that was seven. How many are there actually? There's 30 so far. What interests do they have in these events? Interesting. Progression. What else? Uh, operators and man advancement levels and studies. So we're at 43 percent now. Checklist. Complete objectives. Zero out of three. Earn XP. And safely extract from the second sub-zero zone or later. Okay, so that's basically just honestly go through the game. Let's try a quick match one. Let's see how this goes. You can stun for 2.5 seconds and easily take them down. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I mean, the smoke grenades can can disorient them, but I feel like, yeah, if you can stun them and run up behind them, you can do a quick, a really easy takedown. That's not bad either. All right, I'm gonna go vigil again. I'm there. They're already dead. Uh, then I'm gonna go body armor, and I'm gonna go scan mines because I don't know if anybody's bringing them. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's give it a try. I didn't even look at our objectives, so I don't even know what's going on here. All I need to do is extract at the third location from what it seems like, and then also... This is a rescue mission. React personnel encountered lab complications and couldn't exfil. The distress call came from this sector. Get the VIP to extraction. Protect the Get the package to the extraction point. Protect the asset. 
Dude, he's already down, bro. Oh my god. And they almost got them killed. Oh god, this is gonna be a shit show. <laughs> I got you. Set the package inside the extraction pod. All right. It saved a fellow React member. They'll remember this. E group. Dude, this guy is going to get himself killed. This guy is playing way too sketchy already. Recharge over here. I need that. All right, let's get out. Your get to the next have area. This far. Keep up the advance. of our MIA is somewhere nearby. Pull our MIA out and keep an eye on that arc tree. It'll try to impede the rescue. Pull out the operator from the... I guarantee it's this guy's. This guy does not know anything about stealth. <laughs> Oh, you can. Oh, he's the boy. They're like scanner mines. I thought they were scanner grenades. Oh, okay. Acting up. Target the anchor points and arc cells. Oh my god, there's so many. The parasite is fighting back. Pull our operator out of the arc tree. God. forward I'm sticking with this odd uh, odd star person I'm just gonna let that guy be himself by himself place our casualty in the extraction pod operator is secured react medical will monitor their recovery All right. Jeez. 
us, dude. It definitely gets a lot busier with more people. Holy crap. Oh god. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, of course. Getting the intel we need. On to the next subzone. A med kit over here. I don't need, I don't really need that med kit, so I'm gonna let them take it. Airlock sequence initiated. All personnel to airlock immediately. Wait, is that Doc? Airlock sequence. No, no, it's not. Okay. Here we go again. Somehow we're surviving all these areas so far. Abarat nests are in the subzone. Look for them. The nests are probably going to be towards the back. Oh, wait, I see one right there. Those aberrant nests. Then get a sample of the malignant neoplasm right from the This source. guy doesn't. Oh my god. Oh god. Alright, let's go. Let's go. We're all gonna die. Focus on. Low ammo. Oh no, Habana got down. Get the hell out of here. Oh God. Stellar work. Thanks to your success, we might get additional private funding. That guy just went in with a shotgun the entire time. Good God. Operator level up, nice. React progression. React, this is the best minds. And now he's injured a little bit. Okay. Uh, Claymore glue grenade. Let's go glue grenade. <laughs> Next studies, uh, deploy barricades or reinforcements, stealth, uh, kill enemies with takedowns, and killer assist, killing enemies with a suppressor equipped. Okay, it's easy enough. The 
stealth part might be interesting having to do that but i guess we'll see uh suppressor i'm usually fine with because most of my weapons have suppressors on them anyways and then i forget what the last one was uh yeah i can't really remember the last study not gonna go in as him but I'll go in as Lion. E one D ready for action. Yeah, with the nice uh, scan mine too. Barricades, that's what the other one was. Okay, suppressors, killer assist with press suppressor. Uh, take down five enemy or three enemies and deploy one barricade or reinforcement. Not bad at all. I'm just gonna reinforce this just to get this. There we go. <laughs> Easy enough. Traffic are key yeah. at the extraction point. Whatever you do, don't give it. Don't finish it off. I'm reloading! I need that again alive. Capture system armed. Bro, you're gonna kill it. I did say we needed a life. It's it's not alive. Why would you do that? Like seriously, dude. It was literally two feet away from me. <laughs> do you do you even look at what the challenge is? Or no. Damn kid, get him. This is a team game, bro. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> I, I had a feeling, but then like he ran over to us and then he was like <laughs> Then the other guy ran over to us and I was like, oh, we're about to capture it like cool. We're good Not the uh, Next we thing you know, but we have to move forward. Uh, yeah Get some ammo here I can't believe that. Nothing left to pursue here, so you can move to the Converge next sub zone. I mean, to be fair, I made that. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to use that. Crap. Oh well. Yeah. 
Airlock sequence initiated. Reload. I don't think this guy played the tutorial. Airlock sequence in progress. Proceed to airlock immediately. Hold your position in the airlock until the end of the sequence. Yeah, I thought we had to take down the target too. There he goes. I don't, I, yeah, I don't think he still did it. Whatever. Our first game, me and my, my friend did the same thing. It is a little bit confusing because it's like take down, which you're not actually supposed to kill them. Um, and then there's also like, it doesn't say like capture or like war for it. Find the seismic stations our scientists left in the sub zone to analyze so it can be a little waves. confusing. I'm reloading. I need to get takedowns, but I literally can't. Locate seismic station A. Activate the first station. Commencing seismic triangulation. Setting time out in Good. Make your way to the next station. I'll grab the if you guys want me to run for C. Updating seismic triangulation. That'll do it. Go to the next station. Oh no, we got 10 seconds. <laughs> got it. React scientists are disrupting the propagation of the seismic waves. Good teamwork. Reload! There's one. Wait, did that one count? A uh, stealth kill and takedowns now. Extraction requested, was that all three? Or we got another one? Thing going. Keep it up in the next sub zone. Mix it on. Ammo. Converge on location. Yeah, I don't think he has either. Well, wait, what level was he? You can literally press and hold it. Extreme conditions gear. Injectors are in the dispenser, and then you can plant them in the nutrient node. That'll prevent nests from regrowing. Oh god. Get rid of a net now. It'll grow back until the nutrient node stops working. I'm reloading! Any stealth related challenges need to be done by yourself, basically. <laughs>
extraction. I have the item. Why are they requesting extraction? It doesn't matter what you think. Hey, Lucas, thank you for the follow there. Nutrient node, check. Plug it up with foam, because I'm done with Ness coming back. Foam injector deployed. Where's the other injectors? Got the item. Oh, no, I see it. I can't even pick one off. The heck? Oh, you have to. Oh, my God, I'm stupid. I'm dumb. Oh, my God. You have to pick it up from there and then take it there. Oh. I'm just going to run for it. second chat All right, let's claim these challenges. Perform 10 takedowns. All right, we still need to get uh, three stealth kills. I would honestly just do that by myself real quick. Oh, right, we unlock the next die. Uh, difficulty, it looks like. React consists of the best minds from... All right, defend uh, charge. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go in as Vigil again. He's back at a hundred percent. Don't stand the ghost of a chance. Uh, scan mine. Oh, the, okay. So there is a scan grenade, but you don't get it until twelve. <clears throat> hmm. Recon vapor device. That's pretty cool. 
nitro cell. Plan her through a large explosive device that is remotely detonated. All right, let's go for a smoke grenade. I like the, um, I like using the, uh, remote stuff or anything that scans because if somebody else gets a kill, you get an assist with it. So I feel like that can be really useful for leveling up, like, your people. Arc spines are making the Arkeens adaptable to any Fend explosives. Those arc spines right there. Set the explosives. Okay. Stay on guard until they explode. Oh god. Cloaking is exhausted. Taking down. That's one. Honestly, if I get all three, then I'm just going to extract. <laughs> oh my god. Cloak is up. My ERC is spent. Count? Nah, it didn't. Hey, what's going on, Just Venom? How's it going? I think there's one that's about to spawn from right there. If so, I'm honestly just gonna let him spawn and then take him down. Maybe not. Okay, if there's not really a bunch here to to take down, then I'm just gonna go to the next area. Once the airlock sequence is triggered, don't count on returning to this sub zone. Airlock sequence. Yep, that's all right. Injectors are in the dispenser, and then you can plant good. I've been thinking about getting this game. What's your thoughts on it? Um, so my thoughts is it is better than I expected, to be honest. If you like PvE games and you like like Siege and you weren't ever really big in PvP or you want to try it, like see everything, honestly, I do recommend it. Um, with it being on Game Pass, I feel like that has been a significant help for this game. I think without that, um, it probably wouldn't have done as well. Now, granted, the game is only $40, so it is like not full price as usual. But if it was a $60 game, I don't think this game would be really doing that great. Um, $40, I do think is a decent price for it, but personally, I probably wouldn't still get it unless if it was like, I wouldn't buy it, buy it, unless if it was like 20 or 30. Um, but overall i mean i've been having a good time with it so far i have i mean i'm playing it through game pass so it really it's kind of just been a a uh a bonus for me and i really haven't had any issues with it i've been having fun with it 
Uh, it's definitely a stealth focused game, so playing online with some people can be a little bit rough because not everybody, especially in the Siege community, is not really expecting a whole lot of stealth. So if you are playing with randoms, expect a lot of chaos to happen, but that can also have its own advantages and challenges to it. So uh, that's kind of like my, my quick rundown. I think the, the, the mechanics of it is pretty cool and how they set everything up is, has been uh, a lot of fun. Like it, it works. It, it definitely works for what they've created. Oh God. This guy has his entire heads uh, covered, so it's hard to, to get him. I'm actually going to extract instead. Um, yeah, we only have like 600 XP here. I got the uh, study done. The list of of, uh, Our line of, work is dangerous. of operators is pretty good too, like starting out. Progression, I feel like, is like decent, like it's there. So, surprisingly, a lot better than I was expecting it to be. In all seriousness. Forgot to reveal these. Next one is smoke them. Cover a spiker with smoke. Kill spikers before they shoot suppressive fire. And kill spikers with their weak points while their head is unprotected. Okay. So it's a little bit of uh, stealth, so I'll actually do it again by myself. Uh, I'll go Liberty Island. Low-level Archeons. Since I'm going stealth, I'm going to try this. Take down the target, of course. <laughs> Hunt an elite uh, target and destroy Ness. Okay, let's see how this goes. So I need to use smoke grenades. Uh, then I need to kill them before they shoot suppressive fire and then also do that okay so like a campa campaign kind of thing like terrorist hunt assigns you a mission pretty much yeah um, every time there's so each location there's different locations so like there's New York San Francisco and a few other ones I forget the names of the other ones to be honest Vigil. Um, reporting for duty but each one of them actually uh get smoke grenades has three look three missions within them and every time you load into the mission it gives you three different randomized objectives um and it also spawns you at different locations too so right now i'm loading into liberty island in new york city and my three objectives are take down a target, defeat an elite target, and um, destroy nests in that order. If I didn't want to do this, take down the target, I could actually go to this area right there, that icon, that white icon, and it would take me, it would cancel this objective, so I wouldn't get any XP for it, but then I would go to this one right here. And same thing, say if I completed this, but I didn't want to do this objective, I could go to the next door and it would take me to this one. And at any point, you can also extract. So say if I loaded into this game and I'm like, I'm not doing any of these or I can't even complete this one, I could just extract, leave the area and be out. 
what will happen is right now I'm solo. Uh, I'm playing as a solo player. If I die, uh, if I go down, I do have a uh, piece of gear equipped where. One sec. Okay. One sec. Searching for your objective. Um, Use a recon device if you have one. I do have a self revive kit, so if I went down, I will self revive myself. But say if I engaging the ERC. Um, really? Crap. Uh, say if I went down, didn't have a self revive kit, then I basically would be your character like activates this uh, foam that puts you in a stasis and then you have to come back in with a different operator to save that operator. Um, so you kind of get, you get stuck without them. Um, and you actually also lose XP, but once you recapture them and save your operator that you died with or went down with, then you bring them back in and, and they have all their XP again. Cloak is up. Yeah, it adds a, a factor to it, which is why it can be a little bit rough because a lot of it, it's very easy to die. Very easy to go down. Um, the enemies also go down fairly quick too. But if you go in with a party that is not being stealthy and is just running in there with a, a shotgun, not using any type of suppressor, you're gonna alert a lot of enemies and a lot of people are gonna be coming out after you. So it can go south real quick. Now the one cool thing is, that if it does go south, you, you can actually still... Um, bro, what the hell? How do you spot me? I'm literally crouched. Um, even if it does go south... One sec. Try this. Is that a lurker? What is that? Kill spikers before they shoot suppressive fire. I haven't gotten like any of them. Uh, but yeah, it can get very nerve wracking <laughs> at times. Right now, I'm trying to do some stealth objectives. So rather than go in uh, multiplayer and get spotted by everybody, I'm trying to run it by myself. Yo, what's going on, Gecko? You're on the right track. And the only way is forward. Hi. Hello there. Welcome. How are you? Reload. All right, I think that's all good there. Our next objective is how to play this. Nice. Kill spikers before they shoot. Uh, to the kill enemies with uh, spikers weak points before they have their leader rally fire back. Or containment will be near impossible. Eliminate those hostiles to bait the elite out of hiding. Defeat an elite target. Okay, we just have an elite target then. try the training is it your first time playing it over there a sheep among archies the house pretty quick one deck 
keep at oh, okay, nice. Crap. Kill spikers before they shoot suppressive fire. Just need to get one more and then we're good. Not go with scary stuff. To be honest, it's not that. I personally, I don't think it's that scary. I think a zombie game is more um, scary than this. It just can get very busy at times. So there can be a lot of people chasing you. Gotcha. If I can find this last one. Yep, you're tracking their leader, all right. Kill the elite target. Got him. Threat neutralized. Nice. I don't think it can communicate when it's dead, but how should uh, I know? Uh, what's our last one? Destroy the nest. I might run the last one. Just because so good. Uh, so far, we're doing pr pretty good. So. What is this? We've averted disaster thanks to this crane truck preventing that pillar from falling. Also a reminder that we'll be back. Who do you think is the most useful op in the game? Um, so I wouldn't say there's one more useful than the rest. Because they all really have their own uh, special things. I really like using um, uh, Lion because he, he has a, a big scan, especially on a good team. Um, he scans everybody. But then there's also Doc who can give everybody a little bit more health than usual. Um, so he is one of my other people that I play as right now. Personally, when I go solo, I like playing as uh, Vigil, who's uh, who I am currently playing as, because he has so many stealth, uh, like hide and like his regen for this ability is really quick too. So it's it's really nice for that. Cloak is up. They never saw us coming. Like a silence. So, um, you also, once you reach a certain level, you unlock Rook. So, it, it's nice because even with if one of your characters go down, there's so many to switch between. Um, it's, it can be really, you know. You always have a backup, basically. I need to find these nests still. Having actually using this UV light too is a very, uh, really useful to tool. Being able to see through walls and sometimes even get like headshots. Is the cause of all these aberrant nests. I need a sample, but destroy the nests first. Explode on me. I can't do anything. Gonna explode. Accidentally just got extracted without doing the training. You can actually, you don't have to do the training. You can extract 
without it. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely like suggested to do it. What happens if you go, go back and save the op, you died and died again? Will it just make you have to save both of the ones that went down? Yeah, I think it, it'll make you do both then. Um, the one thing I know happens, well, actually, I think what happens, so say if you go in and you fail, then that operator just goes into like a way, uh, I think they go into like, you fail to save them, but you eventually get them back. It's just gonna be longer than usual. I think, I might be wrong. I know if two people, say if like you and one other person, if you both die in one mission, if you go into that mission again with new operators, even though you're only saving one person, you're actually saving your character, or your operator, and their operator. Um, so it can actually be pretty nice for that. So you don't actually have to like save two operators technically to uh to unlock it all. Alright, let's get a sample. And we're out. Excellent. Nice. We'll learn more on the changes to their nest ecosystem. I will say the so the moderate difficulty can be like it can be difficult at times, but for the most part it's pretty easy. Going from moderate to uh, cautious can feel like a big jump. Uh so definitely be prepared for going to cautious because it, it gets very hectic very quick. But that also explains why they recommend being at least level three for a cautious mission. Carries one additional react explosive, nice. The index compiled some very interesting intel from our incursions. Let's just say it's given me some ideas. Right now, none of my uh, people are are down so far, so that's nice too. At milestone 12, we unlock the next tier. Uh, we're on 10 right now. This one we get a storage arm. Oh, I guess that's that might be a weapon Index sidearm very thing. Interesting intel from our incursions. Let's just say it's given me some ideas. Reveal, study, reveal, and reveal. All right, we got two more or three more. I'm trying to knock these out because some of these actually give you like decent XP. Get kills with. Uh, firearms while prone, interesting. Get kills with the muzzle brake equipped. And get kills through destructive surfaces. Alright. Uh, this one is not as really quiet. So, I'm going to go quick play for this one. Defend the explosive charge. All right, that's good. Rescued operator. Somebody else lost their operator. And triangulate active stations. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, dude, I, I'm I'm enjoying it. I think it's just because it's it's different. That's why I'm liking it. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I might go. Yeah. Lie in here. Every mission is the worst case scenario. Yeah. What was my objectives again? Oh yeah, muzzle break. Hey, equip that. Ooh. 
Mm -hmm. The only problem is you run into a lot of people with open mics, probably. It is cross-platform, by the way, this game. So you can match me with match make. Yeah, I gotta with somehow. Everyone. I keep forgetting. It. I know it was kill uh, muzzle yeah. break, prone, and get oh, killed. Third, just start to say like. I'm gonna mute my mic so I'm not talking in the. Uh, just about anywhere. Look for them. <laughs> Reload! Uh, trying. Unfortunately, my mic is also going off in game. Try to not turn that off, so I feel bad for my teammates. I bring up the deal with it. You're good, man. It could be worse. Reload! Set the charges to get rid of the arc spines. Our keys will be pissed. So uh, I forget ready. how I crouch. It was, oh yeah. Reload. And that was pretty much it for this objective. Besides, I need to get a few through the wall. But after that, then I'm good. Five kills through penetration. Damn Archie are attacking the charges. Take them out. I'm looking for them in the other room. <laughs> Sorry, I missed your message, Venom. Uh, do you have to play as op uh, to unlock ops, or do they do it like Siege, where you re-announce or currency you can buy? Um, so all the ops are free right now. Um, so there are a few that you have to unlock at Our higher tiers. Nicely done. Um, we can't but yeah, the so there's not not at higher tiers like in game, like real money. There, it's just you have to progress now. further in the milestones. Milestones is considered the right like track, their level system. The so like right now I unlocked three more operators uh, once I hit like seven and then I unlocked a few more or will unlock a few more at like uh, I think it's 12. So you can in the meantime you can pick between like any of them really. I am new. Is this the new DLC? It looks great. Ah, uh, so it's actually it's full own game. Uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. So it is its own thing. It's on Game Pass. So I recommend uh, checking it out through there if you if you have Game Pass or something you can try Game Pass with. But oh yeah, let me make my way to the airlock. Like wasting time, like looting, like a goblin. 
Nothing left to pursue here, so you can move to the next subzone. Airlock sequence initiated. All personnel to airlock immediately. And this guy disconnected, or one of the guys did. Airlock sequence in progress. Proceed to airlock immediately. Hold your position in the airlock until the end of the sequence. I like how they did that. Yeah, so far, I mean, it honestly does feel like it, it's done pretty well. So. No worries there. It's, I will say, I, and I keep saying this too. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. And this game has been a lot more fun. Uh, just from, from the get-go of it. Locate the MIA operative. Get the ammo. This is why it's always good to at least have one suppressive weapon. Because it, right now I had to put a muzzle breaker on my main weapon. But luckily I have the pistol as a backup. Eliminate my target. Engage my target. How okay, he's definitely away? gonna be in here. Take down my target. Out. When you attempt the rescue, the arc tree will try and reabsorb our operator. Are you playing solo? Right now I am uh, playing, well, I'm playing quick play. There's one other guy in here too where I don't really know where he's at, but... as far as you want. Nice. Hey, at least you played the tutorial. I didn't, I already knew a little bit about the game, so I didn't play the tutorial originally. Uh, and I wanted to play, I was playing with my friend uh, the first day I started playing, but it's definitely good to play the tutorial, that's for sure. Especially when it comes to these, uh, saving these operators. Are you ready? I'm gonna start pulling them out. It's acting up. Target uh, the so this guy has cell. to shoot all these objectives here. Well, we can together, but it's easier. Hold on for a sec. Oh god. Almost. There it is. So this is what it's like when you have to uh, save an operator. That's this. why we just did that with two people. Um, this is somebody else's operator where they got caught. And I guess when we loaded back into this mission, they needed to save them. Oh God. Oh no. React medical will take it from here. Okay, you're really injured. I can come. This is my good guy too. For one up. Reloading. 
So happy about this game actually getting a new DLC here. So nice been out of prison. Jeez. Well, so extraction started as a uh as a event mode and it did so well that they I guess decided to just Enemy make its own whole entire game by itself. So it, it's actually been pretty cool for, for what it is. So Rainbow Six Extraction is completely different uh, than Siege. Your methods have gotten you this well, far. in terms of um, Taking ammo. being in the same game or not. Yeah, All right, we don't have any health in here. Right, let's do it. Me and this guy cast us are clearing house. Parasite activity is causing the tremors. Size makes state oh, this one's are scientists left in the to analyze and dissipate the wave. Oh crap. Take my dog, get down. Stand for extraction. Let's move. Still need to get kills through walls. This game's fun. So far, I th I think it's pretty fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Also, what's going on, Macro? Start the triangulation. I have definitely been enjoying it. For sure. Okay, we found the first two. Gotta be one more somewhere. And I still need nice. I need I need one more kill through a wall. Nice. There it is. I'm trying to complete all the, uh, there's challenges to this. Uh, and you get, like, a good amount of XP for each area. So I'm trying, they call them studies. I'm trying to knock out all of those. And I almost have them all done for New York City. Appreciate all the info. I'm gonna get some rest. Uh, I was up all night, but if you're still streaming, I'll stop by again and have a good stream. Hey, Just Venom, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for saying hello. Uh, no problem. I hope I answered all your questions. And I'll see you whenever you get a chance again. Have a good day or night or whatever it is. And I'll see you next time. Alright, cool. We got all three objectives. So, I'm gonna grab A real quick if you wanna grab B uh, right after. Alright, find the next station. And ignored. Bro, we got 30 seconds. It's right behind you. <sighs> Nothing. We, we would have failed this if I didn't run over here. Make your way to the next station. Now, luckily, there's just enough time. I think. Seismic triangulation. <sighs> Stand by for the The hardest part. That's pretty cool. Um, the hardest part about this game, honestly, if you're gonna play multiplayer, you need a coordinated team. Is it? I just don't get it. But some people, especially, it's a, it's very unfortunate. But for coming from siege, like siege, you can go in. Your your objective is to kill the op, the opposing team. Like that's it. This game, your objective is to complete the objectives. And I feel like a lot of people are like, like I get it. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of people, but like people don't really. They're not communicating, or they're busy on killing enemies, or they're not, like, accidentally killing the objective. Uh, 
you run into a lot of that. So. I mean, that's just the name of the game too, though. I guess. We just unlocked Fused, Tachanka, and Smoke. Nice. That's cool. So, Fuse, Smoke, and Tachanka. I'm actually going to equip their uh, special uniforms while I'm here. All right, that looks pretty cool. And every operator has 10 levels, which tells you what it is on the right-hand side as you progress. <laughs> About time someone pulled the smoke along. So, cluster charge, uh, deploy remotely detonatable charges. Nice. Hey, Rusted Crown, yo, thank you for the follow there. How's it going? Uh, smoke throws remotely detonated Z9 grenades, dealing damage to any enemy in the gas. That's pretty Come cool. On. I'm definitely going to be using smoke more. And then Tachanka has his good old... Uh, rifle or I mean uh turret that he deploys actually I'm gonna put spectrum on Tachanka I think all of these have um one of my better tactical strategies polar vortex yeah it does so far, so good. cause I unlocked it at whatever level it was All right, sweet. I look forward to watching our key and We unlocked a new weapon for this guy here. I'm gonna change back to the suppressor so I don't forget to do that. And. Uh, I'm actually going to change him to Spectrum because I use him a lot. I really like it. This reminds me the coloring of uh, the Spectrum skins remind me of like Sentinels, the esports team. So the last three operators we unlock at uh, Milestone 17, which is a good ways away. And then finally, there's there's only 30 uh, progression ranks right now, but either way, that's still a good amount. It looks like we unlocked Alaska too. I haven't even done any of San Francisco yet. Uh, milestone 11, we unlock Truth or Consequences, and then 13, you get uh, Wall to Wall Alaska. And then 16, you get Maelstrom Protocol. Interesting. All right, I'm going to try to finish up uh, New York here. All the New York studies. So we have safety first, complete an objective without a DBNO state. Complete three objectives and extract with a full squad. And extract with at least... 30% health and at least uh, with at least 30% health and at least one objective completed. I hope that's just for me. So let's try it. Let's let's attempt this. Can we do a giveaway or a gift a copy of Rainbow Six Vegas 2? I mean, honestly, I would just, if you really want to do a giveaway, I would just uh, post it in there and first come, first serve. Because I don't, right now, I don't really have any type of uh, giveaway options or set up at least. Yeah, I would have to go up and set one up. Uh, 
Uh, oh, this guy is going has to Chanka. Nice. Right now, are we... Okay, we're on moderate. And I completely missed our objectives. I'm going to go as Doc I because this, yeah. I need to complete this with full health. At least. I'll do scan mines too while I'm at it. Firm loadout. Oh yeah, I forgot that there's drops enabled. <laughs> I think I had a outfit. Find dormant nests and set auto trackers on them. All right, here we go. My objectives, complete this. So it's basically complete all three objectives without going down. Tab those nests with auto trackers. Auto tracker activated. I can't, what the heck? I can't swap weapons back. Uh, uh, I can't, uh oh, uh, I'm stuck with my health. I can't change it back. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Auto tracker activated. An actually stealth team. Not bad. Uh, I think I found the bug. Weapons. Uh, well, it's a good, good thing we're not like. Safety first. Nice. Got what we need. Since the ecosystem keeps changing, Keep complete an objective with three. Uh, oh, it's complete just one objective. There we go. Now I can swap weapons. Weird. Scratch that order. Convert on location. Not. Good to go. Airlock Cancel that last order. Go there. Proceed to airlock immediately. Get Cancel in there, or you'll have to rely on your stasis there. device. Cancel that last order. Go there. Airlock sequence. Scratch that order. Convert on location. Cancel that last order. Go there. People don't know. 
I mean, it, I didn't know either, but you can literally enter the next area by just walking up to that. Your main objective is to rescue our downed operator. I'm counting on you. My target is right here. Locate the MIA operative. Take off my Cover me for you. Cover me. Reloading. Nice. I'm reloading. Attempt to rescue. The arc tree will try and reabsorb our operator. Stay still. You're good. Get them all here. Get to the objective. Reloading weapon. Rendezvous at the objective. Oh, great. Oh! To me. Reloading. Cover me. All right, there we go. All right, let's Don't do let it. the arc cells reach the arc tree. DP-28, mounted and red. The parasite is retaliating. Get our casualty out of there. I'm pulling. I got too much energy. Bro, we're going to lose this guy's operator. Archery is easing up. There we go. The casualty will only be safe once they're in the extraction pod. Not bad. Not bad. Oh my god, that one guy's health is really low. Set the operator oh down god. in the extraction pod. Everyone on the Pioneer has been monitoring the rescue. Relieved doesn't even cut yeah, it. Yeah, his, his health is so low. That's fine. Calling for extraction platform. All right, never mind. Faced with inconceivable odds to save humanity, you're all right. Hey, at least I object, or I was able to get out without getting hurt anymore. All right, I need to uh, complete three objectives with a full squad. Let's go back in again. I don't know if 
Doc is going to be good to use this time around. Guess we'll see. Destroy nests, complete or capture a series of areas, and capture the elite target. Not bad. The at least the nest is the first objective and not the last. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, he's still recovering. I built the I'm gonna go pulse. to save lives. Never thought I'd be using it to save my own. Yeah, I'll go pulse. See through walls. Can do. Boom. I didn't realize that he could see, he could automatically see through uh, walls to locate nests. So that's pretty useful. Or his ability does. Monolith Gardens. Mapping data indicates the presence of a barren nest. A malignant neoplasm is causing the nest to mutate. Clear the nest, then get a sample of that neoplasm. Drone deployed. Deploying heartbeat sensor. Scanning. Canceling last directive. All right. Let's do it. Destroy the aberrant nest, and the neoplasm will open. How do they go down? Drop the casualty. Oh my god! Bro! What is happening? <laughs> That's so bad. I should have gone in with a higher character. Oh my god. There's no way. What happens if you do quit? Throwing in. Not a mess left. Time for a Some teammates are KO'd or disconnected and will become a MIA. A React scientist can work with this. <laughs> this guy's gonna, he better place them and then extract himself. Get our casualty in the extraction pod. Squad. I can't believe that. I know they do the same if it were you. Impa grenade. <laughs> oh. 
Picking up squad. Secure your squad mate in the pod at the extraction point. <clears throat> Set your squad mate in the extraction pod. Squad mate. Well done. An operator is coming home thanks to you. Oh, God. There's still valuable intel we don't have yet. So do all Oof. the stuff you need, and we'll try again. That was going to be rough. Hey, we did the best that we could there, I guess. Completed all challenges. Okay, good.